Okay, so this is a rather rudimentary program by now. Um, as when it starts up, you have uh, the files to convert here. You can browse to your whatever you want. So on my desktop, I have this file here, piano. I'm going to open it. If I open several files here, this is also going to work. It just says multiple files, but it's got them all stored. So this is fine. And uh, I can, so by default, the output is saved to the same directory as the input. If I uncheck this box, I can also just select an output directory, like this one, for example. Doesn't matter. So um, then I can convert it to several containers. These are the ones that uh, seem useful to me <laughs> at first glance. If I uncheck this keep original file, it will uh, delete the original file, otherwise it will just keep it. And now if I click on convert, it will just start converting. And uh, there's a new file, epiano.mov, that appears here, which is great. And um, also, if I do this again, it will say, okay, epiano.mov already exists. And I can either overwrite or append a number. If I do append number, it will be a 1 behind the original. If I do that again, there will be a 2. So <laughs> it uh, kind of just adds numbers to that. And... Um, yeah, I can go through the different containers. Oh, also, if I just choose something that it cannot convert here, so if by default the output of FFmpeg is not displayed right now, I can at any time, like here with the uh, window, hide, show, output, or command H, I can show or hide all the output of FFmpeg in a scrollable window here, which is nice. But I don't need it usually, but if I pick a wrong file and I convert it, it will say this is not convertible and it will show the error message that FFmpeg gave out. It will close the window again if I hadn't had it open before. Yeah, so this is basically it. It's very simple and uh, yeah, hopefully it will work for what we want now. Very easy. Thank you.